Are you going to try to shut down Twitter, sir? President Trump declined comment as he departed the White House for today's SpaceX launch in Florida, but his Tuesday evening tweets took aim at Twitter, accusing the company of interfering in the 2020 presidential election and completely stifling free speech, saying as president he will not allow it to happen. This a reaction to Twitter slapping a fact check label on two of the president's tweets, including one saying mail-in ballots will be anything less than substantially fraudulent. A message added by Twitter below pointed readers to links with articles about the unsubstantiated claim. My first reaction with Twitter would be concerned about who they have doing a fact check. I would think it would be pretty possible to find somebody who is nonpartisan. This morning, Trump followed up, writing Twitter has shown that everything we have been saying about them and their other compatriots is correct. Big action to follow. But he offered no details. Point blank, no, he's not going to shut down social media. But there are things that the U.S. government conceivably could do in this space. Washington you know, Post tech policy reporter Tony Rahm says it would require a rollback of liability protection for social media companies over the content posted by their users. That would be a considerable process in the making. It's not as simple as flipping the off switch on Twitter. Meaning more to come on the president's social media megaphone. Mark Barker, NBC News.